Okay, so previously I talked about quadratic functional forms where the change in y caused by x it depends on the value of x itself. And we're going to extend the model by talking about interaction terms. This is a model with an interaction term x1 and x3. And if we want to measure change in y caused by change in x1, we see that it is beta 1, the coefficient of x1, plus beta 3 x3, this variable. So in this type of models, the impact of x1 on y depends on another variable x3. So this is different than quadratic models that we saw earlier where the impact of x1 will depend on its own value. Now the impact of x1 depends on the magnitude of yet another variable x3 as shown by beta3. And we can see that if beta3 is 0 then the change in y caused by change in x is beta 1 and this is what we have been doing since the beginning of the class. In that case, beta 1 will show Keter's Paribus effect of x1 on y. But if there is an interaction, that is, if beta 3 is not 0, in this case, the impact of x1 on y will depend on the value of x3. And the interpretation in this case is a little bit tricky and also the standard errors of this type of effects need to be recalculated. Here is an example of this type of models. Okay, so we are interested in knowing the price of a house depending on different factors. Square footage, the number of bedrooms in the house, the number of bathrooms in the house, but we also included an interaction term between the square foot and the bedrooms. And in this case, we believe that the impact of bedrooms can be represented using this partial effect. So if beta 3 is positive, it implies that additional bedrooms increase price of a house depending on the size of a house. That is, it will depend on the square footage of the house. So if this is positive, it means the price will go up as the number of bedrooms will increase, but it depends on the size of the house. The larger the house, the larger will be price if you add another bedroom in the house. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example in R with interaction terms. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.